or in other applications that obviously support the use of the back facing camera as well. So let's go ahead and initiate FaceTime. So layout that you're familiar with. Certainly the contacts automatically will sync with what's on the address book of your Mac. Uh, saves your recent calls, same as the view that you're used to on the iPhone 4, as well as the iPod Touch. And you can tag favorites of all of my favorite 10 FaceTime people I like to give a call to. All named FaceTime 1 through 10? Yeah, exactly. My friends don't have very original names. <laughs> Actually, that's a pretty original name. <laughs> Let me go ahead and flip it to the side just so that we uh, have the camera facing the top. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, FaceTime 5. So we're connecting. Hello? How are you? So easy to move the preview window around to whatever location you would like to have. It defaults to corners, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Which uh, I think is logical. Mm -hmm. If you want to go ahead and switch it from portrait to landscape mode, very easy to do. And obviously in this format, it's much easier if you want to talk with a group of people or right. view a group of people. And this is where we switch yep. the camera okay. orientation? So basically, we're now putting them. <laughs> now they're showing yeah, this know, white wall. Not very exciting. Uh, <laughs> oh, they, they hung up on us. Uh, we were, we weren't. They thought we hung up on exactly. them. Maybe. They're like, we want to see something a little bit more exciting. Okay. So this is a case of where we're accepting a FaceTime call. Hi, how are you? How's it on that side of the room? 